So hello, 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 brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Worshippers Retreat. My name is Rhonda and I pray you all are having a great day today. So the title of this video is The Gathering of Israel. Um, I had this vision about two weeks ago. And while in prayer with my sister. And so let's just get right into it. So brothers and sisters, it took me a while to do this video. Um, because I had to wait for y'all to give me the go ahead. And it's it's also because it's emotional for me. You know, all those of us that are the true descendants of the children of Israel, those of us that have been oppressed. I know some of our people feel like, you know, America isn't the land of captivity, but y'all sees it as the land of captivity for us. I see it as the land of captivity for us. And if you haven't been oppressed, you would know how it feels. And so, <clears throat> because a lot of our people still have the Babylonian mentality, just like our ancestors, the children of Israel, when they were coming up out of Egypt, they're going, they're going to want to stay in Egypt. You know, because they feel like Egypt is better than what lies ahead of them. And so, um, like I mentioned, I was praying with my sister and uh, I had a, a quick vision. It was short of me with, I was, I was viewing it. And at first I thought I was at with one of the camps, the Hebrew Israelite camps, brothers and sisters. Um, and I was, and I said in a dream, I was like, huh? And, but y'all told me like, he quickly shushed me. He was like, no, he, you know, Holy Spirit wanted me to just look. And so I saw a bunch of, um, beautiful and I didn't really, I, and I say beautiful. I couldn't really see their faces. I saw their hair wraps, brothers and sisters. So they, but I knew they were black women. I could see their hands and stuff, and um, I saw uh, one of our uh, black kings in the attire that the Hebrew Israelites wear um, with the purple and gold. He had that on, and he was telling us to worship. He was telling all the women to worship now. Brothers and sisters, there were some Gentile women there, and I could tell by their hair. Um, and plus I could see the side of their faces. Now they had on a different color from the daughters of Zion. Um, they had a different color on from the black women. The black women all had on different shades of purple. Some of them had, some of them had on lavender, eggplant, uh, purple, um, just different shades. And it was gorgeous. Oh my God. It was so gorgeous brothers and sisters and so the thing that and i'm gonna be honest and some of y'all gonna be in y'all feelings about it but i'm i'm an honest person and y'all told me to be honest and he said don't hold anything back when i saw the gentile women there i say y'all what these health is doing here and <laughs> i'm just being honest brothers and sisters i was on uh some uh I did look at a video a while back and <laughs> they were, uh, they were black people and they were talking about and brothers and sisters and they were talking about how joking and saying how they was like, when y'all take us into our land, can we just please have a break from the Gentiles before we go? Cause we need a break, like a hundred year break because we just want it to be us. And so I felt that so bad, brothers and sisters. Now, some of y'all might be like, oh, Rhonda, you being right? No, I'm not. I'm being honest. Okay. You know. Um, so back to the dream. <laughs> I asked you, I was like, what are these helpers doing here? Like, dang, can we have something to ourselves? Like, you know, they didn't even want us in America. Why are they here? And so the Lord quickly reassured me. Um, he, you know, he calmed me down because the, what made me feel some type of way, brothers and sisters was in the dream. 
they were even in the dream they were kind of like trying to be disrespectful okay because uh the brothers were telling them to telling all the women to worship yah and they were trying to sing over the sisters and it wasn't ones from every nation it was the caucasian gentile women that were there okay and you know thankfully the men got them together and so what y'all told me in that in that particular moment he said that he sees the disrespect that happens to the black women especially on social media especially here in america i know it happens worldwide but i can't speak for worldwide i can only speak here black women are the least protected women the most mistreated women um ever and yes a lot of you gentile women disrespect us you know you i i've i would i remember going on one video a couple weeks back and the level of disrespect was awful you you gotta show your some of you show your butt off and, and here's the thing if it don't fly let it if it doesn't apply let it fly don't be in the comments and y'all feelings telling me i'm generalizing a whole a group of people when if we just keep it a buck majority of you guys are like that especially here in america i'm gonna speak for here in america major the majority of you guys are like that okay <laughs> and i'm not gonna take it back and y'all agrees so um he says that he sees the disrespect and he said that you guys will not be able to come to our homeland because it is our homeland and disrespect us like that as you will be sent back he's not gonna he's not gonna stand for it that's what y'all says he's not going to stand for it you have to show respect to the daughters of Zion. You have to show respect to the true descendants of the children of Israel. And I know even some of my people might not like that. Well, the Lord isn't like that. You don't know your father then. There is, there are, is a hierarchy in the kingdom, brothers and sisters. And many of the Gentile women and men but I'm talking about the women now because the Gentile men, I did not see them in a dream. I saw the women trying to outdo the daughters of Zion and get the, their men's attention. Yes, <laughs> the Caucasian women were trying to get the attention of our black kings. And it it was not working because they told them to, to be quiet. They did. They got them together. And so... Yeah, I was just telling me, he said, y'all don't have to worry about that. He said, I know the hell that my daughters have gone through. Um, yes, you guys, we realize that we, a lot of us have made mistakes, but y'all knows the why, okay? He knows that we've been battered and bruised. He knows that we've been talked about and treated like trash. Um, everybody and their grandmother says something negative about us from every nation, okay? Even from our own. And, you know, a lot of Gentile people, even, even here on social media, uh, grow their channel. I'm not going to call any names. Y'all know I don't have a problem with doing it, but I'm not going to call names. Grow their channel channels off the plight of black men and women. And they, and, and they grow their, even some of our people grow their channel by putting down black women. And y'all does not like that. And I know a lot of you guys, you men are going to get mad by me mentioning Kevin Samuel, but the Lord did not like how y'all did not like how Kevin Samuel used to talk about trash about our women. Okay. You know, the Lord is not pleased with the Gentile women because you guys like to start things too. You love starting it and you think you still, a many of you think you're superior to us and that's, that's not going to cut it. That's not going to cut it when y'all takes us from Babylon, America. Because the Gentiles have to cleave to Israel, okay? Not to the church. You guys have to cleave to Israel. This is scripture, brothers and sisters. And so when y'all began to tell me that, I calmed down because I was over it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I was over it. So the other part of the vision was that, you know... In this particular 
part, we were all in a room, the daughters of Zion, the black women. And um, I was just observing and one of my uh, sisters was there and she was writing down um, thing, everything that had happened in Babylon to her from a child. And it was just a room full of the daughters of Zion and it was a healing room, brothers and sisters. So it it what the sense I got so you know before Esther came to meet with the the king um and they prepared her with oils and all kind of beauty treatments that's what was going on in the healing room and the gentile women could not come in that room they could not come in that room and in that room y'all just allowed his daughters to um just heal just talk about everything they had gone through and nobody had on weave, nobody had on makeup, brothers and sisters. None of that. Like they had at their afros, I'm talking about big afros out. Skin was glistening. Um, we had on like they had on like uh body tone dresses and stuff, and they were just ch very chill and laid back, and it's like we were all talking to Yah, just telling him all the hell that we had gone through and brothers and sisters it was so so beautiful and nobody could try to hijack our movement <laughs> nobody could try to throw their two cents oh i went through this no but your ancestors did not come on the slave ship stop it um and none of that and so i know many of my people are going to frown at this video and say i'm being divisive i do not care because y'all told me not to hold anything back. Many of y'all, my own people still feel like that, that we're not being oppressed. Speak for yourself. I have been racially profiled too many times that I care to admit. I've been, ra I've, I've had stuff happen to me that I I do not even, I did, could not even tell my parents at the time because it would grieve them. Okay. Um, I have on jobs, everything, discriminated against, all of that stuff. So speak for yourself when you say there's no oppression going on. Yes, there is. Look, Just look at our neighborhoods. We, we, we're, we didn't get like that because we're lazy people. I hear a lot of you Gentiles saying, oh, well, you're, you're lazy and you always have the victimhood. I don't see no more people doing playing the victim than you guys, some of you guys in the comments. And when, when somebody is telling our history, then you come, you bring up about the Irish or your parents were immigrants. Nobody gives a care. Okay. <laughs> Nobody gives a care. Yeah. Himself says none of that compares to what his people went through. Indentured servants do not compare to chattel slavery. So stop it. Or then you guys want to say, well, he doesn't care about color. That's another lie. Because he mentioned the color of things all throughout the scripture. He even mentioned his color. Like we have to cut it. We we really have to cut it. And a lot of people like uh, my people are too afraid to speak on these things because these things because they don't they don't want to be called a racist. They don't want to be called um uh divisive they don't want to be called every name in the book I'm, i just want y'all to know i don't care call 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 me that think i i believe in the block button ministry i believe in it because i'm not what i'm not gonna do is walk on eggshells on my own channel and be afraid to say what does say of the lord Yah is angry he's angry at you guys he is angry at how we you have been treating his people. If you are one of the gen the few Gentiles that have stood with his people, well, well, good for you. But many have not. I've had friends that have sat quiet, talk about every other issue, animal rights, and everything. But when it comes when it comes up to how black people are treated in America and other places, there you could hear a rat piss on cotton. And I said I wasn't going to say it that way, y'all. <sighs> it's quiet. It's quiet. Because many many of you don't want to 
admit that you have ra- a little racism in your heart, a little prejudice in your heart, a little superiority in your heart, because even a lot of immigrants come over here and benefit off of the oppression of the so-called black Americans, the so-called Africans, Americans, you other, you other people come in our neighborhoods and you open up hair stores because you know, we are the biggest consumers. We can't even get loans in our own neighborhoods. And then the Caucasians, and I've seen many videos of people admitting this, even with the Africans have admitted that when they come over here, they're told to stay away from the African Americans because they steal and they're lazy. Can you imagine that? Building up this country, having our family's land stolen from us, our heritage stolen from us, and being told that we're lazy and being oppressed <laughs> and being told that we're lazy. Y'all going to have to if y'all don't repent, y'all going to have to re- y'all going y'all going to have hell to pay when y'all get back, when y'all come and get us. I already did the other video about the east wind. He he has winds of judgment. And like I mentioned about brother Hezekiah he, he, he said, what's going to be destruction from y'all will be freedom for us. Just like he brought plagues to Egypt until Pharaoh let his people go. The same thing will happen to Babylon, America. Her sins have reached heaven. I've 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 seen mess after mess and I wish I could find her channel because I would I would screenshot it and put it right up here on my channel so y'all could see the the foolishness of a Gentile woman. <laughs> I can't even I can't make this stuff up. Has has about how the Irish went through the same stuff that we went through worse than what we went through and how they were the real slaves. Y'all don't have a stadium of seats. If you guys do not have a stadium of seats, some of y'all going to stop following Yahshua HaMashiach when you find out that, yes, he looks just like the people that your ancestors were have been oppressing. When y'all reveals to the world who we are, some of y'all going to have a heart attack. Because as long as Yahshua Hamashiach, the Messiah, who people call Jesus Christ, was white with, with blonde hair and blue eyes, you didn't have a problem. As long as he was Middle Eastern. With 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 all black or brown wavy hair, you didn't have a you didn't have a problem. But the minute people start waking up and saying, hey. Hair like wool. That's a Negro. Oh no. Jesus, he was from the middle. The Middle East wasn't even around when, <laughs> when, 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 when he was here. It was a part of the continent of Africa. Joseph and Mary. How did they hide their ch- them and their child in Egypt? If they had blonde hair and blue eyes, well, the ancient Egyptians were white. Yeah. And RuPaul is a straight man. (sighs) Like, I don't have patience for willful ignorance, brothers and sisters. Like, I really don't. It's bad enough that some of our people have a problem accepting their heritage. And I get it because we've been lied to. But when you guys sit on up there and you act like you, you, we can't even have, we can't even, if, even if we say, Hey, I'm proud to be black. Well, well, yeah, well, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be, uh, God doesn't like you being proud. Is y'all have, oh, oh my God. If, if the comedians on social media just say, just even say, you know, how, how black people, uh, you know, ride in the car. Why does it always have to? Uh, why does I thought you guys, you know, Martin Luther King, um, had a dream. He wouldn't want this to happen. Like, so how would he know what other races of people 
our ethnic groups do if we don't if we're born most majority of us are born into black families like <laughs> you but we're the ones that you say try to play the victim I, I'm I'm just shocked that Elon Musk hasn't created or somebody in China hasn't created a, a, a app where you can come through the screen and slap people because I promise you I would be their frequent user. I'm just being honest at the stupidity that I see in the comment section. And it's not all of y'all, but it's too many of you. <laughs> I have to laugh. Because this video was initially emotional for me to do because of the things that y'all had me, wanted me to say. He, he want, and y'all, and here's the thing, you guys can go and you can, because this is what a lot of y'all do. Y'all tells me and I see it with my own two eyes. So when I first started talking about, well, um, you know, uh, how the the so-called blacks, the, uh, Afro-Mexicans, Afro-Brazilians, the, um, Jamaicans and those in the Caribbeans and, you know, just scattered. The, the, the tribes that are scattered are the true children of Israel. Some of you guys, this is what you guys will do. Cause y'all like to play us against each other. Oh, I'm not stupid. Y'all let me know. You'll go to one of our, uh, uh, a youtuber or a social media person um that does not know their true heritage that's black and you will ask them ask them about hey what do you think about the jews this that and the third and you know that what their answer is gonna be oh, oh he doesn't care about color because they have the whitewashed version of the bible they have the whitewashed version of the scriptures and then I'll see you comment, oh, th because that's what I thought. Y'all going to, if y'all don't get it right, you're going to burn in hell. Okay? Some of your ancestors, the lake of fire is waiting on them. And if you do not get it right, you will, you will join them. Now that's being divisive because you know, they don't know who they, they are. And to the Gentiles that do know our true identity, when you see Israelites, so-called black people that don't know who they are, and all every and here's the thing. Yes, I know that everybody that looks black is is not an Israelite, but most of us here in America are. That does not um you sh as a as a Gentile that's awoke and awake, you should tell them who they are. So. Again, this is encouragement for the black women. Y'all says he understands. He knows. I'll be doing a video encouraging our black men too because they need it. And my prayer is that we stop fighting against each other. But hey, you know, we're, we're in the land of captivity. And y'all said that we would, our eyes would be open in the land of captivity, brothers and sisters. Our eyes would, in fact, be open. And the fact that our women and our men fight against each other so much, those are a part of the curses, too. So when that's why I, I, I get grieved and I just, you know, our people that want to get views and likes because they know the men don't like the women and the women actually do like the men. But, you know, they're getting tired of the men. They turn put they continue with the division just so they can get more subscribers. You know, and I'm just like, and these people claim to be woke, and I'm like, you know why the women and men are our women and men are at each other's throats. <laughs> it's because of the curses of Deuteronomy 28 and that are scattered throughout the scriptures. So let's stop acting like we don't have a blues clues. What's going on? But Yah is bringing order to all of that. And he tells me daily, he say, Rhonda, I'm coming for my people. If you any of your families about this video, I don't, I don't know. I just, you know, get you an architect, build a bridge and get over it. <sighs> build a bridge and get over it. Get an engineer, whatever, whoever. And get over it, brothers and sisters. 
I could have said more, but I'm not going to. The Gentiles need to get their stuff together and stop telling us to to, to let it go because it happened in the past. When 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 you have that lady in Florida that shot that woman and got out of jail with uh, uh, like nothing happened. It's so many things I can talk about. And many of you think that y'all don't care about black women or black men. And that's a lie from the pits of hell. Many of you have been lied to also. So now you, y'all is present, put, he's upset before you life and death. Because if you hold on, on to the, the, the mindset, the colonizer mindset of your ancestors, well, my ancestor didn't have slaves. Well, you still benefiting from your privilege. Do you try to help Israelite brothers and sisters when you see them struggling or anybody for that matter? When you see one of your own people being racist or prejudiced against the Israelite brothers and sisters, do you try to stop them? Because as long as we thought those people, those Revelation 2 Niners over in in the, the, the political state of Israel and, and all these these uh Christians over here in America was like, oh, well, we're supposed to pray for the peace of Israel and, you know, cleave to them and send our money and support. And now you have only to find out that those were the wrong people. Are you willing to do that to the people who got a darker hue than you? Food for thought. So hold on, Israel. Y'all is coming. For those of you that haven't repented and that are not keeping y'all's commandments, you need to start. Because no matter if you're bloodline or not, if you haven't accepted Yeshua HaMashiach as your Lord and Savior. You're not walking in his laws and statutes, keeping his commandments. You will not go to our homeland with us. You will be left behind in the wilderness. You, matter of fact, you might not even make it to the wilderness, brothers and sisters. Y'all has shown me, and I posted in the video, how the fact that we're waking up the Gentile, the heathens are getting afraid because they know their judgment is coming. And they will have to be servants in our homeland. Oh yes, they will have to be servants in our homeland. Yah is going to pay back. Because they dealt out punishment farther than what Yah wanted to be done, brothers and sisters, to us, to our ancestors. So, to the Israelites, repent. That are, are being wayward, repent so you can you can um be accepted by Yah. God bless.